What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So today we're going to talk about how to build bigger biceps and a bigger back. And no, we're not going to do what you think I might do. Like, I, you know, I've watched Jeff's channel. He loves barbell curls. I do. And I actually talked about in a video before how I use them as my primary exercise in trying to build bigger biceps. But that's not it. Or you might say, I know Jeff loves the overhand barbell row, and that's his go-to back exercise. But see, when you train like an athlete, you actually don't need to separate out the exercises you actually can take muscles that prefer to work together and train movements instead of muscles. And we know that pulling, there's no better synergy than between the biceps and the back in terms of accomplishing what we're doing. So we got to look more towards those type of options. And we actually have two. The first is switching that grip around and going an underhand barbell row. And while that does meet my criteria for being a ground-based exercise, which I love, and being another power exercise that I can overload, I do like the other option I'm going to show you here, and that is Bodyweight exercise, and people are like, bodyweight, but you, you can't build muscle with bodyweight. Yes, you can, especially if you don't continue to do what a lot of people do, and that is forget that bodyweight doesn't mean that you have to be unweighted. See, bodyweight is using your own body in space and commanding that, and that's a very athletic thing to do, but being able to load it can still be done, and a weighted chin-up is one of the best things you can do to build bigger biceps and a bigger back in one shot. Now here's a couple criteria. Number one, because we can go underhand this way with a supinated grip on the bar as we can with a chin up, we can get more bicep activation. Anybody knows that they tried any kind of chin up before they know the biceps are heavily recruited. The second thing is, and sort of more importantly for me, when it comes to shoulder health, the position of the chin up gets your arms out in front of your body, which is a much safer position for your arm, especially as you go into elevation, as opposed to being in this position with elevation on a pull up. So if you have shoulder issues, it's going to be something that's much kinder to you. The second thing is, because of the position of the arm out in front of the body, you're going to get a really good stretch on the lats that you don't necessarily get as much when you're in this pronated put, uh, chin up position. So what we do is we take out a dog leash. Now guys, you know I have a lot of dogs, so I should have a lot of dog leashes, but what we want to do is use it for a dip belt if you don't have one. Obviously you could use a dip belt, but I want to show you how easy this is. So you take your two weights, I got 45 pounders here. I've always had pretty freakish strength when it comes to my pulling stuff. I think because my biceps are disproportional with the rest of my body. But the fact is, I put the dog leash through, and then I pull the metal part down into here so it's not up against me. And then what we do is get the weights down, and then step into it. Okay, step in, and step in. <clears throat> From here, we hook it around our waist, just like that, and it falls down in the middle. Now, the key here is, even if you can only do 10 reps, let's say, unweighted on a chin-up, you're getting the opportunity to do one or two here with weight, which provides us with that opportunity to go heavy and load this exercise, especially if you're used to just adding reps every single time you do a chin-up. So instead, we can come out here and do some lower rep sets. I'm out. Okay, so a different feeling for sure. Now, you don't have to stop there if you want to continue to go for more overload. Hop right up on the bar again in this pre fatigue state and try to rep out some now unweighted chin ups. You should feel like a feather. Right, and at least try to beat the number that you did on the first set. But the idea here, guys, is commending your body weight is always going to be an athletic endeavor. And if you're not used to doing that, and especially not just your body weight, <clears throat> but a little bit more in the form of external resistance, you're going to be shocked at what you're capable of doing and what the results and the impact that is on your body. The best way to start building bigger biceps and back is to try to get them to integrate and work together. And this is a great option for doing it. Simple, straightforward, yes, but no less effective. Guys, if you're looking for a complete bodyweight program, we actually have one called Athlean Zero. It's over at athleanx.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, 
Leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys. See you soon.